Well, we're now just about 500 yards from where we are staying. And um, we want to kind of show you the context of uh, the neighborhood here. We've just um, had lunch here. I, I guess there's a video about it. Anyway, that's that. And uh, this is a typical wide road. <laughs> and there's, there's a lot of, a lot, lot, lot of uh, bananas around here, actually, which you'll see. Makes me wonder if, um, bananas, uh, guys. makes me wonder that growing bananas is possibly more financially beneficial. You can see the bananas and the banana flowers. Oh yeah, we're going, we're going to talk about them shortly, right? Mm. But yeah, I'm wondering if if if, if growing bananas is, is more be financially beneficial than, say, uh, chopping those banana this down. Sugar cane. I think this is sugarcane. Okay, and um, you know, building a hotel or a house or or something like that, and you know, going about life that way. But maybe there's restrictions on all of that because presumably, if you start building houses, the they're going to be bl you know, blocking the people behind you. Their v view might be ruined. And I don't know, so maybe there's restrictions on uh, building houses and stuff like this. Yeah, so there's a stack of bananas around. We're going to be talking about bananas um, momentarily, actually. Major junction here. <laughs> Truly, this is a major junction. But you can see on the side of the road that there's no crash barriers on the side of the road. So if you kind of take the corner too wildly, you know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that you could go careering off into the banana field. Ah, oh, dearie me. Anyway. I say the, um, can we see it from here? Oh, there's the water over there. That's the ocean, I mean, we're not like a water as in a swimming pool or something, but the ocean. And, of course, oh, okay then, honey, explain what is going on here. Okay, well, if you see, it's just, you see straight ahead to that, um, can, can we point out the flower, the little purple flower beyond the blue bag, like around there, folks, something like that. Oh, I see. Oh, that one. Yeah, I think the camera focuses on your Oh, finger. I see. And then there's another one there. See that? Oh, this flower? this thing here, like opening up. So I know it as a banana flower. Oh, shit. I don't know the proper name. Language. Sorry, sorry. Um, bleep that out, please. So this is what I know as a banana flower. But I've never seen it quite like this one. Oh, yeah, that's a good angle, honey. Look at this. What's going on here? So under each leaf, that uh, you know, I guess these what mm -hmm. bananas are kind of like stamen, if lack of a better word. See how they're growing? Those are actually bananas. And under each leaf or petal, there's more bananas growing. I've never seen that before. It's really interesting to me, actually. Well, even any dad's place? No, I've never seen it like this. Really? Yeah, but I haven't really like you know been around so many bananas at once. So then when you looked at the other one, you could see how they're growing, like, and eventually when they all pop out, the leaves either fall, like that's probably what this stuff is, the leaves falling, or the banana leaves, and then they curl up, which is really interesting. So what's this one down here? That's a baby banana, I think. A baby banana. Yeah. So I think like the ends, what we would think is the ends, is the part coming out where like the, the bug or the bees, I guess, would get the nectar, right, and pollinate the plant that's okay. where they would go it's really interesting um in the philippines they take the small part of the flower like the banana flower and they make it into stew so now we're wondering like see that one there beyond the blue bag do you cut that flower off and let that bunch grow or do you just let do it why? keep going I, I, I wouldn't know i wouldn't know either <laughs> and some people use banana leaves to like cook in instead of um aluminium which would be healthier for you now the blue bags what, what's going on with them so it looks like the ones in the blue bags are ripening they look they all look a bit larger um they it protects them from the elements as well as i think keep the humidity in the bag and the and the f flying insects that might exactly. want to 
you know, nibble on them. Yeah, and from it, and then if it does fall, then it falls with the bag protecting it. But this is super interesting. I've never seen it curl up like that. And the colors, that's beautiful in its own way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Seen that like that. And then see, there's one without the flower, so it looks like someone cut it. Well, this one's straight ahead. This one right here. See how it's just a normal Oh, bunch. let's go around this car. Yeah, it looks good. You can see it. So it looks like someone, it looks like someone even put a rod to secure it, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there's like a frame. How interesting. I saw it. And this is a veg, local veg. I think it's like well, a collard green. That uh -huh. rod keeps it from, like if that rod wasn't there, it would sort of, um, fall yeah. closer to the, the, the trunk, I suppose, and for some reason that's not a good idea. Like, look at that one. It's ripening. It's almost Oh, all yeah, yellow. look at those over there. Yeah. Well, now, now see, for the, for them to be ripening that, like that, they must be be uh, being sold locally, right? Yeah. They but, wouldn't get exported yeah. like that. And then, look, there was a blue bag around it before. So yeah. The blue bag, and they used the same system to prop the plant. Very interesting. Yeah, that is, I've never, you know, normally when I see these on trees, um, like this, I, I see them like that, you know, kind of more more green than yellow. Um, and more often than not with, with the blue bags around them. And at some point, you know, someone's gonna, just down Punta do Sol, there's like a processing plant. And I guess that at some point they get taken down to the processing plant and, and the, the, you know, the person here gets paid. And then down at the processing plant, they do whatever they do for them and prepare them for shipment, and then ultimately put them in refrigerated trailers, and um, send them, uh, you know, wherever they're going. And they they end up in ultimately um, Tesco's or these places, and they're still slightly green, I suppose, uh, although they may have been picked, what days, months before, I suppose, maybe. Um, Those are going to taste very good, I'm sure. Right, yeah, you know, I've never seen that. I've say I've, I'm used to those smaller ones, not, not like that. So that's got to be either maybe that they use that for themselves. Yeah, it seems like you it, know because it takes a lot of effort to do that. Yes, maybe that's what you do, right? If you've got this sort of thing, you you keep some for yourself, right? And maybe make banana bread or banana cake or mm. banana smoothies or something. That's a lot of bananas. Maybe you give them to all your mates or. First time we've seen it like that. Yeah, because that's a lot. I mean, like, if they were already, you couldn't eat all of that in a day or two. And They'd go off. We haven't really seen so many where they're propping them like this. And then look at the ground. It's like in humps. Yeah. So that must be an old one. Right? This is two plants. Do you remember when we saw the strawberries? The strawberries were, like, on, on these sort of pyramid-shaped things, and they were growing at the top. Mm -hmm. But it's it's there's something, unless yeah. there's something else growing there interesting oh what's this here it looks like this cabbage looks like a collard green or a cabbage yeah we ate some of this at the prato do dia place this was the veggie they used wow yeah. how about that anyway um okay oh here's a bit of a lavada down there and then um this is a typical road going up you can show the grape leaves too this where are they oh they're up there right right, right. whoops Oops, a daisy. Grape leaves. Okay, on the left-hand side here. See the grape leaves there. There are some grapes there, but they look as though they, uh, they're beyond their best. Somebody forgot to pick them. You can see all the, the cycles of banana growing. Now, banana, bananas are perennial, which, and they renew themselves. Right? Yeah. yeah. And you see another example. You can see that flower close up again. And then oh, the, yeah. each, each petal kind of shrivels up as the bananas get bigger. And they've done the same thing with, with like the humpy things here. Yeah. There's got to be a reason for that. It must be. We can look it up. Maybe to keep the water. Well, that's the first time I've seen them yellow like that other one. Yeah. I think that's the first time I've maybe seen that ever. Oh, really? 
Yeah, and then look at this lavana here. There's just a trickle of water coming down. And sometimes um, we've seen, well, you'll see it later actually, but sometimes I think they're, um, they, they divert the water to other lavadas because maybe the water's needed elsewhere. Oh yeah, look at this. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, see, this looks as though it's not, oh, it's still hard though, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? Feasts is so good at this stuff. She really loves anything to do with food, I tell you. Which is great for me. Well, this is it in, in, in the northern hemisphere. Yeah. I suppose, you know, myself included. Well, not in totally the northern hemisphere. Maybe sort of above, I don't know, 23 degrees latitude or something. I don't know. Uh, outside the tropics, you know, you, what have we got in England? You know, apples and pears and lots of, you know, lots of other stuff. But, um, so bananas are a bit exotic. So if there's anyone there who thinks apples are exotic, please tell us. I did meet a guy somewhere who said that. Wow, you've got all these exotic fruit, apples and pears and strawberries. But it's all relative, isn't it? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway. Okay, so. Yeah, so this, this road now, this is actually quite wide for some of the roads around here. And, uh. But yeah, this one's going uphill and. Look at all that, yeah. And some of these, like if these were houses here, they'd have great views. You've got the, the Atlantic just over there. They probably wouldn't get the sunset. The houses further away from us now, they might be able to get the sunset, I suppose, but but not not the ones this close. But you'd think some of, the, some of this property would be prime for a real estate purpose. I know, like in England, over the last 50 odd years, We've lost something like 25% of um, apple orchards. Um, a lot of that land is now, um, you know, real estate. And uh, maybe that, maybe that's the way, this guy was doing that before. You know, maybe that's the way it goes, you know, like a lot of the land that grows stuff gets turned into office blocks. And What else do you get for Christmas? I mean, seriously. I mean, like, we all know you got a horn. I don't know why they cut that. You, the you don't know why they cut that? Yeah, they. Channel, see? I was calling them humps. Well, they are, but channels, I think, is perhaps more appropriate. See, this is thing again. There must there's some reason why they keep them away from the trunks. Yeah. Maybe more exposure to sunlight. Do they need sunlight? Um, the leaves, oh, look at this one. That goes up to the um, the telephone wires up there. Hello. Hello, Subscribers. Oh, you now, cut into it. I should say, I we walked down here about an hour ago and those three bananas were on the road. And when we were eating just then, Fee said to me, if those, ah, if those bananas are still there, she's going to grab them. And that's what she's done. But they don't look as though they've naturally fallen. Have. Oh, they've got, oh, anyway. I just want to open it and see what it looks like. Anyway. All right. Like after a time, like they stop growing as big. Maybe towards the bottom they're smaller, right? Look. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not sure, I just say possibly because, hey, it's true. <laughs> possibly anything, right? Oh dear. I want to find another ripening one. That was that was cool. 
See some of them, how they curl. See in the middle one? It, it's like it's folded around itself. Mm -hmm. hmm. And I wonder if, if, if you have them in the wild, do they just grow, like do other ones just grow spontaneously? Or do you have to plant them? Yeah. If you know, you know what to do, people. Oh, is that some more of that cabbage stuff? Yeah. How is the video? It's 15 minutes. Oh, my word. Yeah. Oh, here's one in the bag. See how the stem goes all the way down? No flowers, I could the flower. That's rock hard as well, isn't it? They tie it with just like a leaf. Hmm. Interesting. It is. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is a lot of work, for sure. I guess it's made some people rich. Well, we're about halfway to uh, where we're staying right now. I don't even know the name of this village. Um, I think it's Punta del Sol. Well, that's, but when you say Punta del Sol, most people are going to think of what's down there, right? That's what I would think anyway. I mean, this might be in like the, I don't know, the borough, if they have boroughs or counties. But the village itself, parish. 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 Yeah, maybe it's a parish, that's a good word. La, 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 la. I heard that used like in terms of churches. I never heard it in terms of like neighborhoods, but I think it's a good thing to use They use that in Louisiana, don't Louisiana they? Too, yeah. That's the first oh. time I You see these sluice gates down here? And there's a there's a, like a, a pipe in front of it. So with the sluice sluice gates open, that's gonna obviously allow water to go down or that way so I guess there are times when people don't want water so they close the, the sluice gates and obviously when they want the water they open the sluice gates and the water of course comes from down there or up there actually <laughs> the south side of Madeira take it the southwest side is definitely more conducive to to drier, sunnier weather than uh, the north side. And the northeast side gets very windy. Actually, it's uh, it's almost uh, not desert-like. Oh, this is uh, where our, I think our landlady owns this place. Um, well, what's more interesting? Oh, this way. this? Yeah. And you'll see uh, coming up here, typical hilly, this, I mean, this one's one way, but this is quite mild, this slope, compared to some of them around here. That's for sure. And you know, honestly, around here, it's it's almost, you know, if there's just one or two of you, I swear, it's I almost feel like saying, just get the smallest car you can. I mean, like if you've got something like, I don't know, an E-Class Mercedes, that seems to be about the big, we haven't seen anything bigger than that, have we? Yeah. I don't think we've seen any S-Classes or no Rolls Royces, like one uh, McLaren and then, Yesterday, Feast saw a, um, a Porsche, but it just be, you know, some of these larger cars, you just, you just couldn't make some of these turns. It would be physically impossible. And when you're going down or up and you can't make a turn, and say can't as in unable to because of, of the length or the width of the vehicle, 
then you can run into some serious problems. Okay, and sure enough, all the stop signs are, uh, for some reason, in English. <laughs> I like that one. Anyway, Estrada Nova da Lombarda. And you see, like, there's a place being built here. Not sure what was there before, of course. Um, but they're going to have a decent view, but not of the sunset. Okay. I was on right wing ones. Oh, the one's lying down. Yeah. So, look, the whole tree looked like it fell. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose all it takes is, is if one of these pieces of wood supports fail, mm -hmm. then maybe that uh, yeah. could result in that. And I think that's why, because the banana, that one looks like the banana's got too heavy. Yeah, yeah. And anyway. an example of where they cut down bananas. What? Well, yeah, and, and that's what I was wondering, unless there was another house there before. But yeah, I mean, look at the view that they'll have. But say they're not gonna get sunset. Okay, here we are. See, like this, the car that we've got is is on the. It seems funny saying this, is on the large side. Side. <laughs> but you know, hey, it's it's different perspectives. See the AO, Allo Germental Local, and this is uh, this is us. This is us. Okay, okay.